This side of the museum talks about the world they established over here. And this would be a typical sideboard in somebody's house where they would have the items they brought over from Greece predominantly. The um, brika to make, to make Greek coffee. The uh, bumwayo pan to make the bumwayos and the keftevas. And this is particularly interesting. This is what we call the venduza. This is for cupping. If someone was running a fever, they would put it on them and draw the, the fever out. Over here, we have some interesting items. These would be the slippers that would be worn into the um, uh, mikveh before a woman got married. We have a couple of them in our collection. And of course, other costumes. These are our rabbinical leaders. In actuality, the only rabbi was Rabbi Jasula Halevi. Um, the others were spiritual leaders, but really did not ever receive a rabbinical degree. And of course, this is Hygienia, blessed memory, who kept this community alive almost single-handedly for over 60 years. Our occupations. What did these Jews do when they came here? Back in Greece, they were involved in the buying and selling of textiles, but there were no shops where you bought, bought ready-made items. It was made at home. Coming here, they became part of the garment industry, low-end, aprons, ladies' nightgowns, um, robes, kimonos, a very big business for Roman Yochus. And we have here an actual, this would cut the patterns. And this was from the Ghani family. They were in business for over 100 years. They opened on the Lower East Side in 1906 and closed shop in, in 2006. And this uh, sewing machine is from Rabbi um, Jesula Hakohen. And he actually set up shop in his apartment. Um, this is, they worked out of their homes. The rabbis also worked in other occupations because uh, they weren't paid very much. One of the most interesting items we have in our museum here is our collection of alephs. What is an aleph? It's something that's really indigenous to Greek-speaking Roman Jews west of the Pindos mountain range. We only found them in Yanina, Arta, Prevesa. This is one of my favorite photos. And this Aleph is the Aleph of Solomon Shorty Matzev. And when it was given to me by his granddaughter, Linda, I said to her, why was he called Shorty? All the men in the community were short. Well, this is a picture of Shorty here as he was preparing to sail overseas in World War I. It was given to me by Maxi Nakmias, this is his father Sam in the picture, and a group of young Yanoti boys were there to see Shorty Sailor. I found out that he actually had to stand on a crate when he got married to be the same height as his wife. But I love the inscription here, donated by his family in loving memory of a man whose, whose greatness was not measured by his height. I thought that was so endearing. This, uh, these are additional alephs over here. This is the Brotherhood or the Burial Society, which is still in existence. And I love this letter here, written by a man from the Burial Society, apologizing for not being able to attend their meeting because he had been drafted to serve in the U.S. Army for World War II. Again, additional alephs. This one is particularly interesting because you rarely see the mother's name on an Aleph. And the family really didn't know who this young boy was. It turned out that he was ill. They've created an Aleph for him. And the mother's name was put in there because you always use the mother's name when you're wishing for good health. This exhibit is for the Sisterhood, which is still in existence today. Uh, the Sisterhood was established five years after the synagogue. So the synagogue was established in 1927, the Sisterhood in 1932, and it's still functioning and in existence today. Um, since I'm over here, let me show you something of my personal, 
right here because I was given this honor by the Jewish community of Ioannina, and it thanks me for translated from the Greek for my long-standing philanthropic and spiritual help to the community. So that is uh, was quite an honor. Thank you for visiting. Do come and see us again and learn more about Roman Yo Jewelry. We always lament the fact that so few people know about us, and I commend the uh, ASF for taking the time to incorporate us into their course to learn more about our particular branch of Judaism. Thank you.